Hello and welcome to a video about safety. This video was not planned, unfortunately. I'm doing just a video series about safety. You can watch it, I will link it. However, today is the 2nd of February and yesterday, irony of life hit me quite hard. So, safety is an important issue. And I will take this opportunity, opportunity, I will take this bad luck and maybe turn it into a teachable moment for you. Because I'm going to explain what happened and I'm I think this could have been prevented, yeah? and I'll tell you why I think that. Yeah? I'm going to use some very graphically detailed descriptions of what happened. Yeah? So if you don't feel like you should listen to this, yeah? it's maybe best you are not watching the video. Okay? I'm not doing this to generate clicks or something stupid like this. I'm doing this to 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 to, to remind you what could happen, yeah. And this is really not the worst thing which could have happened, yeah. But it's it's not good, yeah. So I will start since uh, some. Years I do woodworking. I like this. Yeah, I built this desk here. I built some furniture and so on. I I, I simply like it. Huh? And I wanted to do for for this homeschooling and and distance learning stuff. Yeah, I wanted to do here a little podest that I can place my my graphic tablet on there and this is not disturbing and so on. And I wanted to do it movable. Yeah, like a drawer. Yeah, and I wanted to. To mill some nude, yeah. To mill some notches or a nude, nude. Ah, I will place it. Yeah. I wanted to mill some slots inside there that those sliding things can be hidden, that it looks better. Yeah. So, I, 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 I started the milling machine, yeah, and tried to make those channels. Yeah. It worked. It worked. First one was okay. Yeah. And then suddenly during the milling of the second one, I just slided it over yeah. and suddenly the workpiece got kicked out of my hand and I and got directly into the cutter. Yeah. Cut my finger. Yeah. It was sliced, it, the nail is gone, I chipped the bone, I, and you know, at first you don't feel a lot of things, yeah, but then you realize what happened, yeah. You look at this and it looks like uh, meat, yeah, not like a finger, yeah, it's just destroyed things, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not nice. Huh? I then went into the hospital with the cold emergency, emergency came, took me to the hospital, uh, they cleaned me, they did an x-ray and then see with the bones, of course the bones were chipped and so on, so they did underwent surgery, uh, reconstructive surgery, so they tried to build a finger of the remaining parts. Yeah. How this is going to turn out, we will see. Yeah. By the way, many thanks to the doctors and nurses and, and, and assistants or however they are professionally called in the hospital in Krems here. It was it was good it was good, yeah. It was 
in the situation it was uh, nicely done. Eh? So this happened. Eh? Milling, I cut myself, destroyed the, the tip, the last part of my finger. Eh? And yeah, now I'm sitting here. There is pain, of course. Eh? And uh, the pain is one thing, and also the thinking about how this could happen is another thing. It keeps you thinking and it keeps you awake. So I did not very sleep very well at night. That, well, the sleep was actually then okay, but until I was asleep, it took quite a while. Yeah? Not just because it hurts, also because of the thinking. And this is, you know, it's the small things. The, 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 the sum up. Yeah, this is the big thing. Yeah, and then I now need to repaint my uh, my my hallway. Yeah, because there is simply blood spilled. This. Yeah, accident is never nice, never. Yeah. And now to the point why I think it could have been prevented. Yeah, of course you could say you yeah, don't do it. Uh, over, then the work is also not done. Yeah? But this specific machine, or this is a table where you can place a routing, a routing machine, yeah, a routing mill underneath. And I bought it and I never did like it. Yeah? Because it simply was not, it could not be operated nice. Yeah? I always had a mind, hey, something is wrong with this. Yeah? It's not smooth, it is not working smooth. Yeah? And I could really kick myself for not hearing to me. You know, I spent some money for this machine, so I kept it. Yeah? Knowing it was not working good or proper, yeah? knowing it had issues. Yeah? And now this is the result. Yeah? So, and this is the actual reason for this video now. If you do have the feeling that the machine is incredibly dangerous or is not working as it should be or not as, as smooth or easy how it should be from the task, yeah, that it simply, you know, you cannot slide it over. There is always friction or there is always something not aligned correct and you always have to correct a little bit. This is all stuff. Yeah? If you have something, regardless what it costs, do not use it. That's it. Yeah? That's it. You will save yourself a lot of pain and thoughts if you could keep your finger or not or will turn out. Huh? Could have been worse also. Huh? But this is what I really wanted to tell you. If there is something strange with a tool, with a machine, yeah, simply don't use it. It's... Yeah, I could kick myself. Yeah? German, I would say, ich könnte mich in den Arsch beißen. I will make also some series about the progress. Like I said, it happened yesterday. Yesterday I underwent this uh, surgery, this reconstructive surgery, directly afterwards. Today I've seen it the first time and it again looked like a finger. You, you know what I've described first, this, this, that this is just fetzen, yeah? this is just meat. I always thought that the imagination of things was the worst thing. And then I saw this and I'm not so sure anymore because it really looked... Yeah. So, let's say today it looked pretty again like a finger. I had a, I have an artificial nail now and oh, we'll see. We'll see what the development is. So. Stay safe. Goodbye.